Our cells need fuel to maintain homeostasis and perform work. The mechanism for harvesting energy from fuel molecules is called cell respiration. The goal of cell respiration is to generate the energy molecule, ATP. To accomplish this, two different enzymatic reactions must take place. Energy is transferred from the fuel molecule to intermediate molecules, called reduced coenzymes, using an oxidation-reduction reaction. The reduced coenzymes then transfer the energy to ATP in a separate reaction. Oxidation-reduction reactions are coupled reactions that use coenzymes to liberate and transfer energy from high-energy fuel molecules to reduced coenzymes. Oxidation reactions liberate energy in the form of hydrogen atoms from high-energy fuel molecules. Using a coenzyme like NAD+, reduction reactions transfer the liberated energy to the reduced coenzyme NADH. As a result of oxidation and reduction reactions working together, the reduced coenzymes now carry the energy that was once in the fuel molecule. The energy in reduced coenzymes is used to generate ATP molecules. The generation of ATP for use by cells involves four enzymatic pathways. These are glycolysis, formation of acetyl coenzyme A, the Krebs cycle, and the electron transport chain. Because glycolysis generates ATP in the absence of oxygen, it is considered an anaerobic pathway. To generate numerous ATP molecules, oxygen is needed. The remaining three pathways have varying concentrations of oxygen and are considered to be aerobic pathways. Glycolysis is the first step of cell respiration. It occurs in the cytosol. In the first steps of this pathway, a single 6-carbon molecule of glucose is phosphorylated using two ATP molecules and is broken into two phosphate molecules. Next, an oxidation-reduction reaction produces two reduced coenzymes and generates four ATP molecules from the smaller phosphate molecules. In addition, Two energy-rich pyruvic acid molecules remain from the single glucose molecule. Glycolysis of a single glucose molecule produces two ATP molecules, two reduced coenzymes, and two pyruvic acid molecules. Many more molecules of ATP can be generated from the energy stored in the pyruvic acid molecules. However, this energy can only be harvested if the cell is well oxygenated. If there is inadequate oxygen, then the pyruvic acid will be converted into lactic acid. If there is adequate oxygen, then the energy in the pyruvic acid will be further harvested in the mitochondrion. Cells that lack mitochondria red blood cells, for example, can generate only a few ATP molecules from glycolysis.
The second pathway of cell respiration is the formation of acetyl coenzyme A. Each of the two pyruvic acid molecules resulting from glycolysis is oxidized to produce a reduced coenzyme. In addition, each pyruvic acid molecule loses a carbon dioxide molecule to form an acetyl group. Each acetyl group will bind with coenzyme A to form acetyl coenzyme A. The Krebs cycle takes place in the mitochondrion, as does the rest of aerobic cell respiration. During the Krebs cycle, the glucose molecule is completely oxidized. The four carbon dioxide molecules produced during the Krebs cycle, combined with the two produced during the formation of acetyl coenzyme A, bring the total to six carbon dioxide molecules produced from each glucose molecule. Two energy molecules are produced during the Krebs cycle. The remaining energy in the acetyl groups is transferred to reduced coenzymes. The primary function of the Krebs cycle is the production of many reduced coenzymes. It is in these molecules that most of the energy harvested from the original glucose molecule now resides. During the last step of aerobic cell respiration, the reduced coenzymes are used to generate ATP. This final pathway occurs in the mitochondrion and is known as the electron transport chain. When the reduced coenzymes are oxidized, the energy is used to pump hydrogen ions across the inner mitochondrial membrane. Water is formed from this step as the hydrogen atoms are released and combined with oxygen. Hydrogen ions are accumulated and form a concentration gradient between the inner membrane and the matrix of the mitochondrion. The concentration of hydrogen ions provides the force to produce ATP molecules. As the hydrogen ions diffuse down their gradient across the membrane, they pass through a protein that synthesizes ATP. This process of producing ATP using the movement of the hydrogen ion gradient is known as chemiosmosis. The goal of cell respiration is to harvest energy from fuel molecules to produce ATP. In turn, the energy in ATP is used by the cell to perform its work. Other products of cell respiration include the production of water and six carbon dioxide molecules.